it's strange, isn't it? Celebrity culture. I, I don't quite understand it at all. It's always been alien to me. I've never, no, I don't. There's some comparisons that I can make to Pokemon. I find that celebrity culture is, for me, like Pidgey on Pokemon Go. He's always there, she's always there, it's always there, you know, it's in like a separate world. Because I play Pokemon all the time, and in real life, my cat's meowing, and in real life, it's a bit like me um, going on Twitter, for example. I always see it, it's always trending, you know, Kim, Kim Slade, Tina, or whatever her name is, Taylor, party, it's like, shut the fuck, it's just, no, I don't, and yes, yeah, sometimes celebrity culture is interesting, Sometimes, you know, it's exciting, but the majority of it is just, like, YouTube drama, for example, right? It is just grown men, or women, not sexist, like, just going, oh, I don't like you, oh, alright, well, I don't like you, oh, alright, well, Gizmo, shut up, I'm doing a video, alright? Why am I in my grandma's room? What do you think, Giz? Celebrity culture. Yeah, same. It's just rich people bitching. Rebitching. Oh, God. I mean, me personally, I try and find the finer things in life. Like, happiness. Whenever you hear celebrity culture and celebrity gossip, it's never really happy, is it? It's always negative. Why can't people talk about the nice things in life? All these news stories and everything, it's always horrible, and yes, it has like a massive impact on the world, but so does happiness. I've, I, I, I've spoken about this before, and it upsets me because, yes, it's the negative things that shape us and, hi Giz, and make, up, and make this world seem so ugly, but there's beautiful things in this world too. Don't ever forget that. For example, my cat. See? She's quite beautiful, even though she does like to pee in that box, but you know. Another really, really beautiful part of life is nature. I mean, look how beautiful it is outside. We live in such a beautiful world. Some things I don't quite understand, like plagiarism. Let me explain. There's one part of plagiarism, which I saw recently on Twitter, where a famous meme sharer on Twitter copied a meme off another Twitter famous meme sharer. Memes are there to make people laugh and happy and stuff, right? Usually anyway. So what's wrong with just sharing it again? It's it's a meme for God's sake. It isn't like a life or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about, ignore me. And then there's the other plagiarism thing that happened recently with her whole Melanie Trump or whatever her name is stealing parts of Michelle Obama's speech, first lady speech thing magic. That's a bit different obviously, but again, moving on. Riding sheep on clouds, well, I'd prefer enthusiasm while you're here with me. So stop, don't get carried away. Don, don't you understand that every time we wave our hands we're cool. We're fucking Don't let the internet saturate how beautiful this world really is because truly it is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what to say. I'm thinking, I'm thinking more. I prefer your enthusiasm while you're here with me. So stop. Life is like a string, there's knots and there's bows in the way, and those things can be caused by the internet or or worries about the world but the string is yours no matter how long or thin or whatever it's yours and sometimes problems can just burn out and get undone life isn't always easy 
but there is sometimes easy but there is sometimes easy ways of dealing with problems maybe setting fire to string isn't the best way of doing that but you know live and learn sometimes it's just nice to put your phone away to close your laptop screen and go outside because it's quite pretty it, like and that's the thing because this is just a small pocket of the world right the bit that I'm in right now I'm sure you live in an equally beautiful place there might be some challenges along the way like low branches but that's life there's always challenges in life I guess one of the true beauties of life is the fact that you don't know what's coming around the corner it could be like sharp it could be horrible or it could be beautiful it could be a love it could be anything don't be afraid of what's coming around the corner don't be terrified life might give you horrible things like really, really bad things and then around the corner something amazing might happen sometimes beautiful things come out of really, really ugly things sometimes a breakup could be the best thing to ever happen to you sometimes being ill from work can make can mean that you might see something amazing on TV there's no there's no limit to the sort of there's no limit to the sort of things that can happen one thing I do hate I know this video has been very very positive one thing I do hate is camera focusing camera focusing I finished this bit anyway so that's a bit pointless oh well some boys just very past me on their bikes and said hello mr. youtuber <laughs> it made me feel really happy oh see back then I had no idea that, that would happen and it's happened and it's made me feel really happy life is good and that's all I want people to see you know I might sound a bit dramatic I might sound a little bit oh life's good oh yay but no life's good yay I'll leave you guys with this next time something really messed up or horrible happens in your life whatever it is know that perhaps around the corner you might find a Pikachu or your life might just get really good for some reason and I hope it does and if you are a rose surrounded by nettles you will get plucked soon I hope <laughs>